Hey everybody, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. And this video is for anyone who's just getting started in their search for hearing aids. If you're looking for hearing aids for yourself or maybe for a loved one, this video will walk you through all of the steps that you need to take to get smart about what the options are on the market and what might be the right fit for you. Let's get into it. I got my first pair of hearing aids in 2020 and I've had hearing loss for my whole life. It's hereditary, shared by my mom and brother, but I've been on the fence. I haven't been ready to fully commit to wearing hearing aids until the pandemic. People put on face masks and I lost my ability to read lips and that really pushed me over the edge. When I first sat down and started researching what my options were, I was incredibly confused. It took me several hours of research just to figure out which way was up. Ultimately, that experience inspired me to start Soundly.com and led me on the journey to where I am now. In this video, I wanna take you through what I wish I would have done in the first hour of my research, the steps that I would have taken as I was learning about hearing aids, learning about my own hearing loss, and where I would have gone. So we're gonna structure this as sort of a step-by-step. -step. You can think of this as a guided research session. We have a blog post on soundly.com where you can follow along. We have it broken down by time. I'll give you a full tour in this video as well. You can stick around and we'll talk through each of the steps that I'd suggest you take as you get smart about your hearing loss. So a lot of people that know that I now review and think about hearing aids all the time will text me or email me and ask me, what are the best hearing aids on the market? And I always ask them the same few questions to clarify their options and what might be best for them. And the first thing that I will ask them is, have you had your hearing tested? So if you haven't had your hearing tested, professionally or online, the first thing I'd suggest is that you take a hearing test. Now we have a free one on soundly.com. It takes about five minutes and the results tend to be pretty accurate. It'll give you at least a directional understanding of the severity of your hearing loss, the shape of your hearing loss, and some other basic characteristics. This is also going to give you a foundation to learn more about what your options are to treat that hearing loss. So the second important step is to understand your hearing test results. Now this test could be something you got at a clinic or a test you took online, but generally you're going to get an audiogram back and an audiogram charts your ability to hear from deeper sounds or low frequencies to higher sounds or high frequencies like birds and whistling. Typically you'll see that chart. Mine is a cookie bite, so it goes down in the middle and then it comes back up at the top. Many people have a sloping configuration. We have an article on soundly.com that explains each of the common hearing loss types and gives you a little bit more information that might help you understand your particular configuration. One especially important note to take a look at in your hearing test is whether you have mild, moderate, severe, or profound hearing loss. If you have severe or profound hearing loss, your care options, which we'll get to in just a moment, will be a bit different than those folks who have mild to moderate hearing loss. All right, we're making some progress. You've now taken a hearing test. You have a basic understanding of your hearing loss configuration. And what I'd suggest is that you take a step back and you think about what brought you into this process in the first place. What are your main goals in this process? Uh, are you trying to reduce tinnitus? Are you hoping that you'll find a product that can manage background noise like at a restaurant or while traveling? Or are you just looking for something simple in front of the TV? These notes are gonna help you as we get to the short list of products in a few moments. You also wanna ask yourself how much support you want through the process. Would you like a doctor or professional to really guide you through every step, or are you thinking that this is something you might wanna take on a bit more DIY? With those notes in hand, it's time to start making some decisions. The first major decision you'll wanna make is not about the product that you're gonna choose, but rather about the care model that feels most comfortable to you. Now, there are basically three care models available to most people. The first is a prescription care model where you'll go to a local clinic, you'll meet with an audiologist or hearing instrument specialist in person, they'll look inside your ears, they may take ear molds, and then they'll fit you with hearing aids. That process is the traditional process that many people have gone through for decades. Your second option is to access hearing care through telehealth. Now this can be particularly convenient for people who live in rural areas or folks who are really busy. Typically the way this works is a hearing aid will be shipped to your home and then you'll use online consultations, phone calls, text messages with a hearing professional 
professional who will program your devices and work with you to fine tune them to meet your needs. The third option is one that's gotten a lot of headlines over the last year, and that is the newest option on the market, and that's to purchase a hearing aid over the counter. So you can actually go into Walgreens or Best Buy, or you can do it online. You can find a brand that you like, have it shipped to your home, and then program those hearing aids using a smartphone. What I'd suggest is take a moment and think about which of these care models is probably going to fit your needs and your appetite. If you like to do things yourself, over the counter or telehealth might be a good option. If you want to meet with someone in person, a prescription option or an in-clinic option is probably going to be the best fit for you. I recorded an entire video on all of these care methods and how they impact the price of hearing aids, which I'll link somewhere up here. All right, so now you've tested your hearing, you understand your hearing loss configuration, and you've decided which care model best fits your needs. The next step is to decide which hearing aid style is best for you. Hearing aid styles typically come in one of a few different form factors. The first form factor is the most common, and that's the receiver in canal hearing aid. So you can see what this looks like. A receiver in canal hearing aid has the, the processor that sits behind your ear, a wire that comes up over the top of the ear, and a receiver or the speaker that sits inside the ear. About 80% of folks choose this style because it's the most comfortable, it has the most advanced technology, it allows streaming. There are a lot of advantages to receiver in canal style hearing aids. Now, when I first started my search, I really wasn't open to receiver and canal hearing aids. I wanted something that sat in the ear. But over time, as I learned more about the advantages to the style and then ultimately tried the style and felt how comfortable it was, I've completely switched over and I wear receiver and canal every day. The second style is a custom molded device. A custom molded device is created by taking an impression of your ear canal and then sending that off to the manufacturer who creates an exact replica of that impression with the hearing aid embedded inside. These can be really comfortable, they fit snugly in your ear, and they can become really, really tiny. There are invisible options that are custom molded to your ear. Only about 20% of folks choose an in-ear model, but those that do, there are many of them that are very happy. There are some other models of hearing aids on the market that have become more popular in recent years. One of them is an earbud style hearing aid. So an earbud style hearing aid looks a lot like a pair of headphones, but it has the capabilities to amplify speech and drop down background noise. And you'll find, especially in the over-the-counter set, earbud style hearing aids are quite popular. It's finally time to talk about products. And what I suggest is that you create a short list. Think about the care method you want, the style that you want, and ultimately create a short list of products to explore deeper. Now on Soundly.com, we have guides for each of the major groupings of products, which you can explore on the site. We also have a side-by-side -side comparison feature where you can put products against each other and look at them feature by feature, price, style, images, etc. Once you have that shortlist curated, we recommend you take some time to watch YouTube videos, read reviews, and really get smart on the pros and cons of each of the products that you're considering, and then ultimately pull the trigger. One thing that I really recommend folks think about is that most hearing aids have a return policy. Usually that's 45 days or more. So you can try a hearing aid and if it doesn't work well for you, you can send it back and try something else. The only exception to this is if you get a custom ear mold Often there will be a sunk cost, something that you pay to the clinician for that service that you will not get back. If you're just getting started in your search for hearing aids, I encourage you to keep pressing forward. Take all the steps that we've talked about and ultimately try a product. I can say from personal experience that the process of getting hearing aids and feeling let back into those inside jokes or into those quiet conversations has been transformative. And the products themselves have advanced so much in recent years that they're very discreet, very comfortable, and quite powerful. I think for many folks, the journey can be very, very much worth it. And it's a worthwhile investment in your overall health. I hope this video has been helpful. You can read our full blog post, uh, The Beginner's Guide on Soundly.com, and I wish you the best in your search.